Point. Should a police officer trade in their old vehicle for one that's shiny and new? In this morning's Evelyn Zone, Jeff is in Logan Heights for a cop car showdown. Today's debate, which cop car would you drive? Shiny and new or bruised and battered? <laughs> two officers, two cars. Yeah, I'd say that's a tie. Both vehicles, Ford made, but similarities in there. I'm leaning on my Crown Vic. I'm leaning on a 2022 Ford Police Utility Interceptor Hybrid. Officer Wendy Eckert is 21 years older than DJ Jamsichi, and her Crown Vic has 100,000 more miles. DJ and I are good friends. We're going to do both. Shake hand, tug it out. I knew this kid when he was a baby, baby, little tiny baby cop, and he's come a long way. I love this kid. But not his souped-up SUV. Wendy prefers her old dented dinosaur that Ford stopped making more than a decade ago. They're better in pursuits. They're stronger. They're quicker. They're faster. Your car's old. DJ's hybrid is fuel efficient and clean. I'm getting some new car smell. Yeah, I mean, this thing only has 8,000 miles on it. We're all. While Wendy's Crown Vic has been on life support for years. Most of the uh, engine lights are always on, but I just ignore them. When you park them side by side. Sure, this thing looks nice, it's shiny. This thing has a little primer spots and a bunch of dings and, and crashes. But when you think about being a cop, I think you think about a Crown Vic police interceptor. My spotlights are all LED powered, so they don't get hot when you turn them on. So where the Crown Vic has halogen lights, where if they're on for a little bit, you touch them, you could probably burn yourself. My spotlights probably don't even work. And you're OK with that? I'm OK with that. San Diego police have more than 500 of these Ford Explorers. Brand new clean engine. I could eat dinner off of that engine. But only 30 Crown Vicks remain. And Wendy says she's partly to blame. I've been in crashes. I've totaled maybe a couple of these. Officer Eckerd plans on retiring in five years. This has saved my life many, many times. But only if she can drive off into the sunset with her old friend. I've never in my career, 24 years, driven one of these in patrol. And I swear that when they pull these, that's the last day I'm going to be coming to work. So we'll see what happens. Both officers agree. The best car is the one that brings you home alive. 100%. Absolutely make sure you come home safe and your partners come home safe as well. But who wouldn't have a soft spot in their heart? The thing that'll just drive itself. <laughs> Look, autopilot. For what's been police royalty on the roads, the Crown Victoria. You have your seatbelt on? Yep. I hope so. In the Zevely zone. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Crown Vic. Let's hear it for the Crown Jeff Sevelin, CBS 8.